The basic premise of Hydrowood is that we are harvesting timber that was submerged 30 years ago with the hydro power in 1979. Myself and my business partner Dave were having a beer one night and uh, I think he suggested the idea, which I told him was bloody stupid. No, look, he'd been to British Columbia, so they use the rivers there to transport timber to get them to the mill, and sometimes trees sink. People started realising that there were trees underwater they could pull back up, and they were still fresh. It was really sort of a thought around, these trees here have been underwater for 30 years, it's dark, it's, it's cold, they probably haven't started to deteriorate, so why wouldn't that be the same process as what was in British Columbia? So he went to the University of Tasmania and said, hey, would you guys help us out on this? And we went and pulled some trees out using divers and tested them, and they were okay. When we first started, there was a whole lot of negative sentiment towards the concept. Can't be done, you're mad. You won't be able to build a barge that will do the harvesting. The wood won't be okay. We could only get out small logs. It spurred us on. I enjoy the pushing back and proving people wrong. When we went to Hydro and the government more broadly said, hey, we want to do this, there was a level of scepticism. We really needed to show that we were going to be good custodians of the lake and how we operated. There's no divers in the water. It's cold and dark. We needed to be able to build something mechanised that would safely be able to harvest trees. And we went and built a barge called Hydrowood One, which is very creatively named. It's driven by three thrusters and it's got a 45 tonne excavator that can harvest the tree by going down into the water column, grabbing the tree and cutting it and then pulling it back up. There's an untapped resource here. It was an old forest, it's getting a second chance, so it's great to see it being put to use in really iconic builds that have got great stories.